Hi everybody! Alright, so I've had lots of people asking me for a baby legs tutorial. <laughs> Hi! This is Hannah at nine weeks. And I have to cover her with a Boston blanket because she's got naked legs! <laughs> I've got to make her more baby legs, so... You want to show them how it's done? Are you going to be quiet for just a little bit? Probably not. As per usual, you look like you're hungry. You look like you're hungry. You want to come here? Come up here and we'll show them how to make a baby leg. This is my cutting table down in my den. This is my quilting project I need to work on. Okay, so let's look at what makes up a baby leg. Um, this is a... A, like official baby leg and basically it has a, a a top cuff a long tube of fabric and then another bottom cuff so my baby leg is very similar in that it has a top cuff and a bottom cuff but my bottom cuff is much longer if you can see it's over an inch long and it's a little narrower than the um, than the leg itself. The baby leg cuff is very, very small. It's this short. Okay, so the way I'm going to show you guys is making the longer cuff like this, like this one is. So, we, uh, we can replicate a baby leg by using a knee-high sock and uh, taking advantage of the fact that it has a top cuff already in place and a nice long tube of uh, fabric and we just need to make the bottom cuff. So this is how you make the uh, long bottom cuff like this one. You use the fabric from the foot the section that you cut off. Now if you don't have a lot of time and you just want to make these really really quick uh, this is how you can do it. You cut the foot apart so you have the ankle section, that's thrown away. You have the toe section, that's thrown away. And you cut out a three inch, three inches uh, tube of you know, sock material. By turning this inside itself, smoothing it out a little bit, <clears throat> you have a, um, a nice finished edge and then your two raw edges together and uh, you have the pattern on the inside and out. So now if you just sewed you sewed this onto the bottom of this, you would have a baby leg. But I like my bottom cuff a little tighter, so this is how I'm going to show you how to make the um, tighter version of the bottom cuff. You have your three inch section. Let's get this out of the way. You have your three inch section and um, Basically what you're going to do is you're going to cut off some of this. So, let's just do it. Alright, so I have like, this is like half an inch, right? Eh, like three quarters of an inch. That gets thrown away. So now what you have is this rectangle of sock fabric. Right? rectangle. Now you're going to fold it so that the pattern is on the inside and you're going to sew a straight stitch right here. Alright, so I just finished doing the straight stitch. Um, I s did a quarter inch seam allowance right along here. I also did a zigzag, but you don't need to. Okay, so I want to make sure I made that last step really clear. So this is what you started out with and then you cut a three inch wide section so you have your toe and your ankle and then you cut you know half an inch to three quarters of an inch um, off of it and then you're gonna sew, you turned it inside out <laughs> so that the good pattern is on the inside bad patterns on the outside and you sewed along this line so basically you just made the tube that you had when it was like this you just made it a little narrower alright does that make sense? So now what I'm going to do is fold this in on itself and see there's our bottom 
little section. Okay, you got a nice smooth edge and then your raw edge is all up here. Okay, so now we want to take a look at our sock. See what we're working with. Um, one thing that I did, because the argyle pattern is a little different, I knew that when I had this on her leg, I would have, let's see if I can zoom out, nope, once I'm locked in, I'm locked in. Um, I would have this argyle straight down her thigh, and so I wanted the, uh, I guess the seam on the cuff to be centered on the back, so it's not on the inside of her ankles, it was on at the back of her foot. Uh, back of her ankle, I guess. So it doesn't matter as much on this one because the pattern is just kind of arbitrary. But if you do have like an argyle, that's something you might want to consider the seam placement on your um, bottom cuff. All right, so excuse me if I'm bouncing. Hannah is fussy and I have her in the Moby Wrap. <laughs> and bouncing is the only way that she won't cry. Okay, so you take the raw edge of your long piece of sock and you have your sorry, the bottom cuff that you just made in your hands, and you're going to put it around your fingers so that this is the folded edge and this is the raw edge, and you got your sock, and you're basically just going to put your sock in the middle, right? So now, you got, this is the nice rounded edge of your cuff, all the raw edges are together. Hi. So you're just preparing this to sew, because now you're just going to do a straight edge, joining these all together all the way around and then sh 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 when you flip your cuff over you see can I see yeah, yeah if you're a sewer you understand this if you're not a sewer this is extremely hard to explain <laughs> all right so now you're going to take this to your sewing machine and I removed this front section you know usually usually your sewing machine looks like that I took this off and then you take your baby leg and you're gonna have to stretch it around your machine. Ugh. You see that? So now I'm gonna make sure that the cuff is positioned where I want it to be. With the socks rolling up like this, you really have to make sure that you're on the edge. And I'm gonna smooth this out all the way around this baby leg. Keep in mind that this cuff is stretched really, really tightly. So, if you put your fingers under right here, you can um, feel and see if there's anything's rolling. Make sure it's all laying flat, and then bring it up to me. The nice thing about doing it on striped socks is that you can basically follow the line, and uh, you can make sure that you know as long as purple is staying that far from the edge of your cuff then you know that they're being sewed on somewhat straight. Oh, we're getting a little squirrely here. Take this off. Turn it right side out. And you got a super cute little cuff on the bottom of your baby leg. Now keep in mind that this was stretched out over your machine, so you'll need to wash it in order for it to like shrink back down to where it's supposed to be. But um, now you can go in here and you can cut out some of this bulk. I recommend using uh, pinking shears. Um, and then repeat the process for the other baby leg and I'll show you what they look like on Hannah. Hi Hannah! So Hannah is very unhappy <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the baby legs on her real quick. Super super duper cute and they are so easy to make that once you know how to do it <coughs> cranky <baby legs. laughs> you can complete them during a nap. Alright guys, if you have any questions leave them below. Bye.